Long Shorts, King. Do women want you to tell them what to do or not? Do they want a man who's in charge or is that too controlling? Sometimes that depends on you. Time to talk about stuff testing, also known as dominance testing. I received a request. Can you explain why some women hate this and now apparently they like it? Is it the guy or the girl? And the creator is bracing herself. Here's the post he's talking about. Have fun, sad face. Wear whatever you want, I don't care. Sad face again. And then all this. And Lightroom, happy face, proud of herself. I mean, look at this. Look how happy this makes her. Especially compared to this. I mean, look at this. Overprotective and jealous boys. Kitty cat face. Now, all men have the experience of telling women these things and being told that we're insecure and we're being controlling and abusive. So is it the guy or the girl? It's the guy. And this is the worst thing about women. From now on, when we're talking about men and women in dating, I want you to think more about lions. Lions have a signature social structure. A bunch of females typically cluster around one male. And occasionally a new lion will come by and challenge the original lion. And when this conflict happens, the lion women, they don't help their man out. They just sit there. They just go, ooh, who's going to win? Who's, who's, who's daddy tonight? And then when one or another lion wins, he doesn't have to hunt or do anything. The lion ladies do it for him. And that's because the lion is the bad boy of the animal kingdom. They fight to the death over women, and the women go, oh my god, that's so hot. So when this lion uses violence to keep these women to himself, they like it. And here again is that little lioness face. But most men know that this doesn't work for us. Why do some women hate it? Well, it's because humans do something that lions do not do. We use resources and social status to make up for a lack of attraction. So if you are in this area for her and you tell her these things, what she feels is, well, now I can't get my excitement from someone else. You're taking this away from me. So if this guy says you're not going out or you're not wearing that or... Then that's abusive and controlling. But if this guy says you're not going out or... Well, you know. Then the answer is, yes, King, I'm your territory. Defend me. What other men? There are no other men. Let's go back to Fifty Shades of Grey. Here's another quote. Every time you move tomorrow, I want you to be reminded that I've been here, being your body. Only me, you are mine. Remember, women pay money to read that because they are imagining it coming from him. Not from him. So if you tell her these things and she likes you more, congratulations. But if she likes you less, then you're in a relationship. Women enjoy dominance from men that they are physically attracted to and not from men that they aren't. If you are here and you tell her, stop talking to other men. So if she tests you like this, and this is your reaction, and this is what you get in return, that means she probably likes you and she wants you to show it. But if she says, don't tell me what to do, that probably means she wants this from you and this from someone else. And of course, these are general rules. Here's my new levels graphic. Different women will be different based on their development and their personality type and what time of the month or whatever. But again, generalization means most correct. This is just a general principle about women that will come in handy.